Welcome back everyone, Jim here. Well, I'm going to uh, continue with uh, filming uh, the restructuring of my camping site. I got to tell you, it's been uh, somewhat of a long journey. It started back in the spring when I, uh, in one of the videos, I highlighted uh, moving a tree and restructuring the driveway so the camper can make it around the curve. I'll show that in a moment. And uh, now I've got uh, the base fill. Uh, it's not the finish fill because I'm going to throw some uh, black felt down and then I'm going to cover it with uh, one inch minus gravel. Uh, but you can see that the transition in my earlier film when I showed how I was going to drive the truck and then back the camper in, well now you can actually see the transition where the camper is going to be pushed back in. And uh, on the right, I've made a ditch that when the ground is level, there'll be a ditch there for any water coming off the hill to go into that culvert. It goes across, oh, probably 25 feet before you get to the camper. And that was in another video that I had. Uh, I got to tell you, you know, uh, I'm 69 this year. And 75% uh, of the time, I'm working alone up here. It's very gratifying. Away from the city, totally in the woods. No drama. Just me, the woods, and the animals. But uh, as you get older, uh, you gotta you got to keep moving. Uh, my health is not the best. I'm overweight, obviously. But I tell you, you got to keep moving. I've got aches and pains, but I get up in the morning, thank God I'm alive, and uh, take a little ibuprofen, and I'm good to go again. So, uh, you know, just like to encourage everybody, get up off that couch, do something. Less, unless, of course, you're physically disabled, you can't do it. But as you get older, you need to keep moving. You need to keep your mind sharp. You need to uh, figure things out. Uh, you need to be creative, and you need to get physical. So, uh, all right, with that little aside, I just wanted to kind of tell you uh, that it's been kind of a long journey. We're almost into August now, so it's taken uh, actually most of the summer to do this. But uh, I found that if you break your projects up into manageable steps and then do a step at a time, You'll get there. Uh, I'll, I'll do a walk in and uh, show you what I've done. And then I'm going to work on the water line because uh, now that I've got the ground almost where it needs to be, I need to move the water line to the right. Because that whole area where the camper is has to be leveled out as well. There's, a lot, there's some stumps under there and stuff that I never removed. So before I can do the final grade with gravel, I need to move the camper towards the camera, bring the camper up this way, and it'll probably be here for a week or two. Hopefully not that long. Hopefully I only do it for like a day. But it all depends on when I get the gravel, how long it takes me to smooth that area out. But the uh, septic pipe also needs to be moved to the right. So... Uh, once those two things are done, then I'll be ready to move the camper, flatten the land, take the junk out, stumps, etc., put in a bed of gravel, and then push the camper back to its new resting spot. So uh, let me take you on a quick journey of uh, what I've done so far. I've already uh, demonstrated how I'm going to roll the camper back in here once I pull it up this hill. The hill is a lot less steep than the way that I was putting it in before. Now from here, you could probably see the truck and you could see the camper. That's quite a steep push uh, in gravel. Uh, the truck would spin and the tractor had all it could do because of the weight differential between the camper trying to push it uphill and the weight of the tractor trying to keep the front end on the ground. So with even the front 
even with the added weight of the front of the camper on the tractor, if I got it too much of an angle, it would still push the tractor around. So that was an uncomfortable uh, situation. So what I'll be doing now is coming straight in with the camper, driving right up towards us, enough so that I can just back the camper from here right into the site. This will work much better. <clears throat> and along the way, in this process, I gained more parking space. You can see that right on the right. There's actually enough room for a Class C camper. One of my friends has a Class C, and uh, she could park it right in there when she comes to visit. The other thing I had to do was in this area, there was a, uh, well, qu quite a big poplar, and it stuck way out in the driveway uh, from that one reflector on the left. I would say it probably was another eight foot out from there. So coming up the driveway, it was uh, too much of a swing to get the camper around. So what I had to do was remove the tree and uh, take the big bend out of this driveway. That being all filled in, also created, well I didn't create, I moved the ditch over. There was a big arc in the ditch before, now it goes straight. give you an idea when I'm driving in and uh, I'm on the side of a mountain here so most of the things are uphill uh, pretty much decided that next year we'll put a foundation in and start work on the old house we're gonna uh, build the shed portion in the back first and then uh, slowly demolish most of this and replace it but you can see the driveway it comes up here now. I'm able to uh, drive in quite a ways with the camper. Anybody that's towed a camper know you gotta make wide turns. I should be able to keep uh, my momentum up pretty good. And then head straight up. All this is a lot less steep than what it was before. And I will drive straight up past where the tractor is, and then I will slowly back the camper into position. So that's the progress to date. Uh, you can see the culvert I put in a while back. Here I've tried to uh, landscape the area so any water coming off the hill goes to the culvert, which is just the other side of that big rock. And I don't have a big budget here, so right here you can see I grabbed some ash trees that will serve as a temporary border. The gravel, once the pad is finished, will be level with the top of that ash and uh, that'll give you an idea how much under the trailer I got to take out of the junk. Now what you don't see is the other side of the trailer is actually jacked up and the wheels are off the ground. That's how high it is right here. But once this is all filled level with that log that will make a ditch which will funnel all the water, or any of the water on this side, 
down here to the culvert. It's another perspective. A lot of uh, terracing. And I'm by no means finished uh, because eventually I got to put vegetation back in here. Um, when I do move the water line, the water line is going to move. Uh, Oh, probably towards us and on this side of that ash that's on the ground and then eventually I'll be connecting disconnecting the gravity feed well portion and if you saw my video in the spring you saw me hook up the gravity feed line and what it took but uh, I'm going to put the line underground and in this hole that's right here as I walk closer I've temporarily, I've found the water line, and it's a, oh, a black, black pipe, obviously. I've temporarily got it capped, and what I'm going to do is remove that cap, put in a T, and then put a shut off. I'm going to put a T in because one leg of the T is going to go down to the house when we're finished. And the other leg is going to be cut and go over to the shutoff for the camper. This will all be underground. And all I'll need to do is, uh, using a wrench, just like they do outside your house, I'll reach down into the ground, turn the valve on, and I'll have water. Okay, so for now, that was my uh, progress update. And... Uh, I'm going to continue videoing. I'm going to do the water line, and that'll be on one of the following videos. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed watching what I'm doing here, you know, give me a like and a thumbs up. I can also use subscribers, you know, if you if you feel like you'd like to, and hit that bell icon. Appreciate all all the subscribers I can get. Uh, like I said, I'm 69, I'm retired, and uh, my goal is to someday hit enough people that maybe I'll get a couple dollars a month from uh, all these videos, from yeah, from uh, YouTube. But thanks again, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that bell icon.